Hello friends and hello fellow jewelry lovers. Welcome to another pre-recorded jewelry and more buy it now sale. I want to say if you are new, please send me an email calypsoantiques at gmail.com with your YouTube name, your real name, your mailing address, and your PayPal email. I do invoice via PayPal. If you aren't sure how these sales work, let me try to explain this as fast as I can. Each of these beautiful items that I'm about to show will have an item number. And the first person to put the item number in the chat will get the item. I have a way of going back and seeing who left the first comment. Sometimes multiple people will claim an item, but I can go in through YouTube and see who actually put in the first item. Okay, guys, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I do always like to mention when my next sale will be. My next sale will be Wednesday on Simon Says Let's Make a Deals channel. It will be a vintage and variety sale. There's always going to be some jewelry at that sale. It is at 6 Eastern, 5 Central on Simon Says Let's Make a Deals channel. I always link that information on my community page so go check that out if you haven't already and i'm going to go ahead and say it now if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and do so it is absolutely free i'm getting very close to a thousand subscribers and it's a huge milestone for me so get your friends get your family to subscribe if you can it really would mean a lot to me I will be invoicing on Thursday of this week, so that will happen after my Wednesday sale. And it will include my Saturday sale that I had over the weekend. Okay guys, without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay guys, item number one is this amazing vintage beaded dome brooch. As you can see, it has a really cool 3D effect to it. It has faux pearls and little light green uh, beads on it. Here is the backing, it is very vintage. There's a little bit of wear on the back, but the front looks absolutely fantastic. A lot of work went into this, this piece. This is $10 and it's item number one. $10 item number one. I just thought it was cool. Okay guys, item number two is so cool. So this is all wood. Um, this necklace is probably from the 70s, if I were to guess. It has no markings on it. It drops about 16 inches, so it is a 32 inch necklace. Let me show you the back here. Here is the clasp. It's fantastic. This would be so great for layering. I just love this design. I love everything about this piece. This is going to be $12, item number two. $12, item number two. I do want to mention if you purchase this and you would like for me to polish it, just let me know because I can definitely polish this for you. It's a great vintage piece. Okay guys, item number three is one of my favorite pieces for today. It is this amazing 1960s uh, double layer necklace. So one strand is just this gold, this twisted gold here. The other strand has faux pearls, faux turquoise. It's like an acrylic, um, but of course the best part is this. Look at this pendant, it's absolutely amazing. The different color variations are supposed to be there on the turquoise um, acrylic. It's just supposed to make it look more authentic, I do believe. So this is a long necklace. It drops 17 inches, so it's about 34 inches total. It's in very nice vintage condition. Here is the clasp back there. This one is $16, and it's item number three. $16, item number three. Okay guys, next up is this glass trinket box. Um, this is silver plate and this is antique. Let me show you the inside here and the bottom. 
it is gorgeous. So it is this beautiful red glass. It's got the uh, silver tone inside. Here's the top. This is so cool. This is $15, number four. And just to give you an idea, it is about two and a half inches wide and two inches tall. I love this red. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This piece has a story to tell. $15, item number four. Okay guys, number five is an amazing Native American piece. It has bone and turquoise. It is on this really cool uh, braided chain, almost like a liquid silver. It is a barrel clasp. It is phenomenal. I love the way it drapes down. So this one drops about eight and a half inches. So it's about a 17 inch necklace. I just think it is so cool. Again, there's the clasp. It's just beautiful. This is another good Larry necklace. This is going to be $20, item number five. $20, item number five. Number six is special. So this is a vintage Emmons brooch. It is this really cool abstract 3D star design. There is a little bit of wear. If you look there on the right hand side, you can see some discoloration there. Um, because of that, I'm going to offer this at a lower price. These go for quite a bit. I'm trying to get the Emmons to focus for you. Now I can't remember where it is. It is here somewhere. Um, this one is going to be $12, number six. $12, item number six. It is two inches. Isn't it fun? I'm still trying to find the marking. <laughs> $12, item number six. Filming these on Monday morning without a lot of caffeine. I gotta figure something else out. <laughs> Okay, I just love her. This is a really cool um, lady brooch. She does have, it looks like there may be a little bit of enameling missing there, but she is still absolutely fabulous. I love everything about her. Here is her back. I did not see a marking on her. She is about one and a half inches. Look at those lashes and her blush. And her lips, she's everything. She is $10, number seven, $10, number seven. I just love her. Okay guys, number eight is just fun. These are three inch long hoops. I'm assuming they're stainless. There's no tarnishing on them. They're, they're really nice and they're not as heavy as they appear. I'm sure they appear really heavy. But if you're looking for some big hoops, these are super cool. You've got the double hook hoop there. And there is the backing. Again, they drop about three inches. They're just fun. I picked them up because I thought they were cool. These are going to be $6, item number eight. $6, number eight. And I don't see any wear or tarnishing on these at all. Number nine is so precious. So this is a cameo brooch, as you can see. It is porcelain, and it has the silhouette of a courting couple. He is giving her flowers. This is a beautiful piece. To be honest with you guys, it looks brand new. So it's about one and three quarter inches long. The way they made this is just phenomenal. Here is the back, very vintage. This is $16, item number nine. $16, item number nine. So cute. Okay, number 10 is super cool, guys. I have had this in my collection for quite a while. I went to an estate sale back when I lived in Dallas and I ended up picking up a few pieces for myself um, at the estate sale and this is one of them. So these are like barrel acrylic beads. I don't really know how to describe them, but they have these beautiful colorways on them as well as gold spacer beads. So I had never seen anything like this before. 
it drops eight inches, so it's about 16 inches. There is the barrel clasp there. No, no wear or tear to this at all. It's just really fun. I just thought it was too cool. I haven't worn it. I still love it, but I'm trying to purge. So I've decided if I haven't worn it, I might be offering it for sale. This is $12, item number 10. $12, item number 10. I'm kind of Marie Kondoing. I'm going to say that's a verb. Some of my jewelry, so you're going to be seeing some things that I've collected over the years. $10, number 10. Okay, guys, number 11 is super cool. This was sold to me as being red aventurine. I am pretty sure that's what it is. It is definitely a stone. It is not amber. I know it, it may look like amber to you guys, but it's not. Um, what is so cool about this is it's reversible. Here is the other side, which is carved. And I looked up the properties of Red Adventurine. It helps with energy, stress, sleep, all the things that we seem to need. The bracelet itself is one and a half inches wide. The stretch is in excellent condition. If this was worn, I would be really surprised because it's perfect. But I love the carved side. I love both sides. This is going to be $15, number 11. You may have heard Sweet Loretta. Yes, she is named after the song, Get Back by the Beatles. She just wanted attention. She was somehow wrapped up in my sheets, just crying away, wanting me to come in there, I guess. This is $15, number 11. $15, number 11. It is fantastic. Okay, guys, number 12 is so cool. It is this amazing starburst brooch. So the base metal is a gun metal. Let me show you the back so you can see that a little bit better. I believe this is vintage, but made to look older than it is, like probably 90s, if I were to guess. All the rhinestones are there. They are glass. This is a really, really pretty piece. So this is about two inches. Just to give you perspective, this is $13, number 12. $13, item number 12. It's fantastic. Okay, guys, number 13 is precious. This brooch is made by JJ. I'll show you the back here in just a moment. It is Noah's Ark. It has all this beautiful detail. You have giraffes, birds, elephants, camels, lions rhinos it's so cute it's very very well made there's the jj marking on the back this one is about two and a half inches long or wide excuse me i just noticed all the animals have jj on the back that's so cute that added detail let me try to fix that if i can well my hands aren't working um this is going to be ten dollars number 13 ten dollars number 13. i just had to fix that Oh, look at the geese going up the ramp. That is so cute. $10, number 13. Okay, guys, number 14 is a set of sterling silver bee earrings. So they drop about an inch. They have been tested. I haven't mentioned it yet, but I do test all of my sterling silver with acid just to make sure it's the real deal. These are super cute. Um, they are marked, I think it's on the inside of the hook. Not gonna spend, oh no, it's right there. Hopefully you can see it on the left-hand side, the 925 marking. These are $11, number 14. $11, number 14. Okay, guys, number 15 is this vintage ring. So this is a CZ. This is marked Germany on the inside. I will show it to you here in just a second. It's this little band um, showing you the size here. Where did it go? Seven. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying not to make you too dizzy. It's just this really pretty dainty ring. Um, it really does reflect the light almost like a diamond would. It's adorable. This is $8, number 15. $8, number 15. Let me show you the inside. 
Okay, guys, I'm doing my best to try to get that to show. It says Germany there on the inside. Again, $8, number 15. Okay, guys, this next piece is amazing. So this doesn't have a clasp. It just goes over your head. It is various stones. There is some turquoise. There's some halite. Um, I believe the pearls are real. And some of them actually look to be maybe opalite. The closer I'm looking at them here. I love these hearts. They are fantastic. You have some silver findings on this piece. It is handmade, artisan made, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Let me just kind of show you some more of the detail here. It's beautiful. Aren't those hearts everything? So this beauty drops about 14 inches. So it's about a 28 inch necklace. It is so pretty. I love the stones. This is $28, number 16. $28, item number 16. It is so cool. $28, number 16. Okay, guys, next up I have this really pretty, subtle cross necklace. It is quite small. It is vintage. I'm assuming this is probably from the 70s, maybe the 80s. But it is this beautiful etched cross. It's like a filigree. Let me see if I can get it to focus a little better for you guys. There we go. So this necklace drops eight inches. So it's about a 16 inch necklace. And I picked it up just because I thought it was beautiful. This is going to only be $5 number 17, $5 number 17. There are no markings on it either. Okay, number 18 is fun. I believe this is a modern piece. Um, it is this faux leather bracelet. It's got two snaps there, but it has this beautiful embroidery uh, rose, embroidered, whatever the word is. It looks to be brand new. I don't see anywhere on it anywhere. The bracelet is about two inches, just to give you an idea. And as you can see, it is adjustable there. It should be for all. There's just something about it, probably because it's so boho. This is $8, number 18. $8, number 18. Okay, guys, I picked this up for all my, my stone and crystal loving friends. This is Onyx. It is so cool. This is a very vintage piece. It is a square and it's one and a half inches in diameter. I love this. You could use it as a paperweight. You could use it as a riser for your jewelry or your crystals. It is super cool. This is $15, number 19. $15, number 19. Love it. Okay guys, next up I have some sterling silver earrings. These are small, they drop about three quarters of an inch. They've got a great patina on them. They are marked 925 and they have been tested. These are gonna be $12, number 20, $12, number 20. They're great, they're not heavy. $12, number 20. Okay guys, I tried to bring a variety in different price ranges to these Monday pre-recorded sales. These are, I believe they're modern. They are like triple hoop earrings. They dangle about three inches. So they're quite long. They're very lightweight. I don't know who makes them. I just thought they were cool. They have this texture uh, to them that makes them, you know, kind of sparkle in the light, which is fantastic. These are only $3, item number 21, $3, number 21. Okay guys, number 22 is so pretty. This is Sarah Coventry. It honestly looks brand new. Um, they're calling it, when I researched it, a flower. I guess I, guess I see that. It is gorgeous, so some of the gold on there is textured, gold tone. 
I'm sure most of you know that, but there's the Saracove there on the back. Um, it's about two and a half inches. Did I say that? I think I did. It is gorgeous. I love it. I love how it's open in the center. Really pretty. Three dimensional. This is $8, number 22. $8, number 22 for this really fun Sarah Coventry brooch. Okay, guys, this next piece is amazing. This is a Lucite bangle. I just measured it. It measures about two and three quarter inches wide, so it should fit most. It is going to be $16, number 23. As you can see, it's kind of like this lime green color, but stay tuned for the very best part of this. Okay, guys, look at the glow on this. It is just absolutely phenomenal. This is $16, number 23. $16, number 23. It's amazing. I meant to say, too, I don't see any damage on it anywhere. It's in really nice condition. $16, number 23. Okay, guys, next up is another favorite from this sale. Now, I did pay up for this necklace. It is all sterling. I had never seen a design quite like this. So you have these balls. You have these twists here. And you have bars. So this measured about 13 and a half inches. Um, it is marked 925 on the clasp there. It's amazing. This is $30 and it's number 24. $30 item number 24. I mean, it is just so cool. It has a great patina, but if you purchase this and you would like a polish, just let me know. $30, number 24. Okay, guys, look at these amazing clip-ons. I believe these are from the 50s. Here is the back. As you can see, they are in excellent condition. Each rhinestone is pronged and faceted. And I did just test the center stone. It was showing as glass. Um, I do believe it's probably trying to look like moonstone. It is cold to the touch, just so you know. There was no um, glow on these. So the rhinestones are intended to be like this smoky color, which really brings out that center stone there. Amazing. Did I say they're an inch? I think I did. These are going to be $12, number five. <clears throat> $12 number 25, excuse me. Okay guys, next up I have a signed Napier piece. Oops, I thought this one was really pretty as well. This one has like a, a leaf design or a branch design. Almost even feathery. I picked it because I thought it would be beautiful for fall. It is marked Napier somewhere here on the back. There it is, it's upside down. There we go. Um, it's almost two inches. No, no loss to the gold or no tarnishing. It's just an amazing piece. This is $8, number 26. $8, number 26. Okay guys, number 27 is an amazing piece. So this is a Native American copper bracelet. It's called a story bracelet because it, it tells stories on it. Um, it's phenomenal. So you have some people with a, a teepee and a fire going. You have a deer. You have a gentleman with a bone arrow. You have a chief. Um, it is beautiful. There's a lot of detail on this. And I love it. It is not marked. It does have a lot of tarnishing. But I think that just adds to it. I have not measured it. Let me do that for you. This is going to be $28, number 27. But let me get you a measurement. So it's about an inch wide, this, this part right here. And then it measures almost three inches across. So this should fit everyone. And of course, you could adjust it some if you needed to. This is $28, number 27. $28, number 27. Just amazing. 
Okay guys, this next item is sterling silver. They are these little um, dangle earrings. They are marked 925. Um, I believe it's right there to the upper right. I just saw it a second ago. They have been tested as well. Oh, there, there it is. There's the 925. But anyway, they're like this little dangle square. I just thought they were cool. So they drop about half an inch. These are $10, number 28. $10, number 28 for the sterling silver earrings. Okay guys, next up is number 29. It is this torque style bracelet. It is silver plate. And these two pieces on the end are faceted glass made to look like maybe aquamarine or another blue. I think this is fabulous. I love this design. It's very fun. So it measures almost three inches across. And again, you know, you should be able to adjust this a little bit without doing any damage to it if you need it for a bigger wrist. This is $15, number 29. $15, number 29. I love how they did the glass on the ends. It really sparkles. Okay, guys, I told you this was going to be a mix. Um, these are what I believe to, to be antique salt cellars or little antique dishes. They have this beautiful pattern. They have a, oh my gosh, what is the word I'm looking for? This saw pattern here up top. Words are escaping me this morning, guys. I apologize. And then on the side, you have these bubbles and almost a starburst. Here is the bottom. So there are six total. They're all in very nice condition. I'm going to zoom out for just a second here and move that out of the way. And I'm selling them all together as a set of six. I know that sometimes people like to put jewelry in these. There's so many different things you can do with these for display. You can also put your spears in them. Sawtooth. That was what I was looking for. Oh my gosh. It has the sawtooth pattern there. Wow. These are going to be $18, number 30, for the set of six, which is about $3 each. Pretty good, huh? $18, number 30. Okay, guys, next up, I have a beautiful brooch, probably from the 50s. As you can see, it is this beautifully made rhinestone brooch. It has kind of this waterfall effect where these um, pieces dangle down there. Each one of these is faceted and pronged. There is no marking on this, which is just crazy to me. But you can tell by the construction of it that this is just a really, really nice brooch. There's no wear, there's no tarnishing or anything like that. This is $15, number 31. $15, number 31. Is it not beautiful? Gorgeous. Okay guys, number 32 is beautiful. This is a sterling silver ring. It has a real pearl there and then it has added brass leaves, I would call it a leaf design. It is beautiful. So this ring is European, that's what I was told. And it is about an eight, eight and a half, maybe a little bit more. It's so pretty. I love this design, very boho. This is going to be $19, number 32. $19, number 32. Guys, I apologize for the pitter patter. I know most of you don't mind it but it can be distracting. So it is marked here on the bottom. Again, it's a size eight and a half, and this is $19, number 32. $19, number 32. Okay, guys, number 33 is so cool. Um, this is a unisex bracelet. I'm gonna call it that because I think men or women can wear it. It is a Viking bracelet, and it has these dogs on it. Super cool, love the design. It's got an amazing patina. That is why I have not polished it. I don't believe this one had a marking. Yeah, it did not. It is super cool. Let me get a quick measure for you. Okay, so where it stands, it's measuring about two and a half inches wide. And this one is $25, number 33. 
$25, number 33. The band is about an inch. I know it's hard to tell in these videos sometimes. $25, number 33. Okay, guys, number 34. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So this is Spiny Oyster, and Spiny Oyster comes in different colors. I have shown this ring before. I did show it at my live sale, but I, I thought maybe I should show it up close so you can just see all the detail. So this is a larger ring. It is about a nine and a half. I got this for myself to match um, a necklace that I have, another spiny that has the same, same purple colors in it, and the ring is just too big. So I thought I would offer it one more time it's $38, number 34, which is still a pretty good price for this ring. I'm gonna show you the inside. It is sterling, it has been tested. Hopefully you can see the marking up there. This is the 925, it is cut open like that. Even the band is cool. It's a pretty good size for that cabochon. It keeps turning over. Um, so the cabochon is about one and a half inches. So this is a pretty big chunk there. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I have to show you the best part because Spiny Oyster does glow. Do you see the glow? It is phenomenal. It glows like crazy. So again, $38, number 34. And this will be the last chance to get it. Because if it does not sell, I am going to take it and get it sized. Sorry, guys. Okay, guys. Number 35 is fun. It is a costume ring. It is the last of several that I picked up. This one has um, black rhinestones. It is cut there in the center. It does reflect the light. It is adjustable. But right now, it's sitting at about a 7.5. There is the back of it for you. Just a fun statement ring. I love that it's black. This is $4, number 35. $4, number 35. Okay, guys, number 36 is breathtaking. This is vintage. It is Thomasine. It is from Spain. It has this beautiful pheasant, I believe, with floral scroll work pattern on it. Here's the back. It has a trombone clasp. It is two inches long, and it's beautiful. I love the fan, and I love the bird. This is $16, number 36. $16, number 36. Okay, guys, number 37 is absolutely beautiful. It is a Czech crystal necklace. It does have AB coating. As you can see here, it is a double-stranded necklace. Let me show you the back here. Look at this. It really shows the age. This clasp is phenomenal. And it's double. So the longest strand measures about eight and a half inches. And the smaller strand is measuring about seven inches long. It is beautiful. I love this. This is $18, number 37. $18, number 37. Come back down. It looks better down here. Look at the sparkle. Okay, guys, number 38 is special. This is sterling. It does have gold plating on it, vermeil, verme, however you want to say it. Here is the back. It does have some amber colored rhinestones there at the top. It is beautiful. This is an excellent condition for its age. It's almost three inches long. I love it. The rhinestones do not glow. It is so pretty. This is $24, number 38. $24, number 38. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, next up is what I like to call an Egyptian revival piece. It is modern, but it is meant to look Egyptian, obviously, with the scarab here. It has a faux pearl dangling rhinestones. It has a skull there. It is two-layer, so you have another pearl here. 
the first layer. So it measures about 15 inches long, so it's about 30 inch necklace. Here is the back of it, it is so cool. So I bought this from another reseller. There's nothing wrong with it, I love it. But I ended up buying two. Um, I think I just got over excited um, and didn't realize I bought two of the same. So I thought I would offer this for sale. So cool if you're into Egyptian mythology or insects, um, this is for you. This is $15, number 39. $15, number 39. Okay guys, next up is a beautiful unmarked brooch. It measures about two and three quarter inches long. It's this double leaf design with these emerald colored rhinestones. Um, as you can see, they're pronged and faceted. It looks like the lighting isn't showing the true color, but they're like an emerald green. This is gonna be $10, number 40. And that's because there is a sign of wear here on the back. But what's amazing is the front is perfect. It looks brand new. $10, number 40 for this amazing leaf. Okay guys, next up is a vintage electroplated bracelet. Um, it does say 24 karat electroplated there. It's cool. It does have a little bit of wear. It's not too bad but there is somewhere on it. This is gonna be $8, number 41. It measures about two and three quarter inches across. It's probably from the 70s or 80s. It's $8, number 41. side. Okay guys, number 43 is really cool. I just don't know for sure what this symbol means. This is Mother of Pearl. It's a vintage brooch. I have tried to find out what this is, what this stands for. If you know, put it in the comments. I think it's pretty regardless. You could always convert it into a pendant as well, but look at the flash on that mother of pearl. This is ten dollars, number forty-three. Ten dollars, number forty-three, and it is about an inch wide. Okay, guys, number forty-four is cool. So this is a British half penny, and it was made into a pendant. Um, it does have the date here. It's from 1949. It's got this really cool ship on it. And this is just gold tone, but it's really cool. I love the, the work on it. This is $13, number 44. $13, number 44. I guess you're supposed to show that side. I don't know. I don't think it matters. And the pendant itself is about two inches. I forgot to mention that. Pretty cool. Okay guys, number 45 is an amazing ring. As you can see, it's small. So I would count this as about four and a quarter, four and a half. Um, this is silver, it's from Thailand. So it's got this beautiful enameling work on it. Looks like there's some lotuses, this beautiful heart. I love this. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. It is a good pinky ring though. There we go. I was trying to show you the inside and that worked out perfectly. This one is $15, number 45. $15, number 45. It's beautiful. Okay. 
Okay, guys, number 46 may be a little bit hard to show. Let me see if I can get it to focus better. There we go. As you can see, um, this is a piece of sterling, and it, it's a pendant. And etched in it, it has um, a rider on a horse. Looks like a bucking bronco. Not quite sure. I think this is probably from Mexico. It is marked best, as you can see there. It is a really cool pendant. And this one is number 46 and it's $15. Need to measure this for you guys. So the pendant is just shy of two inches itself. I just thought it was really cool. I had never seen anything quite like this before. $15, number 46. Number 47 is so pretty. This is vintage sterling silver and it has a CZ stone there in the center. It is gorgeous. This has a great patina on it as well. It's about six and three quarter. It's almost to a seven. It's amazing. This is $24, number 47. And if you look on your right hand side, it's upside down, but there is the 925 marking. It's a wonderful ring. $24, number 47. Okay, guys, number 48 is so special. So this is a sterling silver pendant with mother of pearl. Here is the back of the pendant. So as you can see, there's two bales. You could wear it either way. I have it like this right now. Um, it also could be a brooch. It is marked there in the center. And I paired it with a 925 chain. It's Italy. Yeah, it is. So this necklace is tarnished, but it is marked there, and it has been tested. I just think this is so cool, and I love that you can wear it so many different ways. This is $30, number 48. It is so cool. I mean, it's beautiful. So right now, with the pendant, it's dropping about 22, I'm sorry, about 11 inches. It's about 22 total. Look at the fire on that. It's so pretty. And again, $30, number 48. Okay, guys, number 49 is another piece that I had in my collection. Uh, this is a signed piece. It's signed Ken Kato there, if you can see the etching. Um, it is sterling. And it is this really cool school of fish. I just love this. It's so abstract, so cool. And it is it's beautiful. It's well made. This is $25 number 49. And again to give you perspective, it's about 2 inches wide. Isn't it cool? I just love it. $25 number 49. And last but certainly not least is this really pretty flower brooch. It is about 2 inches long. As you can see there are Faux pearls there on the inside. It is not marked, but you can tell by looking at it. Wait, is it marked? No, I don't see a mark. Um, it's very well made. I think it's beautiful. And this is $8, number 50. $8, number 50. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Even if you're just watching, it means the world to me. I hope you can make it to the sale on Wednesday on Simon Says Let's Make a Deal's channel. Again, I'm going to put all that information on my community page. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you have any questions about the sale or you want to reach me directly, it's calypsoantiques at gmail.com. Happy Monday! Bye, guys.